sipping on a cold wine Having ourselves a good time Sipping on a cold wine What's up, America? This is Two Drunk Guys. I'm the Drunk Master. And I'm Frankie the Jeweler. And we at Ruler Brewery. We're going to take a step inside and see what's going on, man. What do you think about that, Frank? I think we should have a beer. Let's walk inside with us. Go the next. One after. No, comment out one okay. after the next. What, is, what, 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 what what do you think? Go ahead. Welcome okay. out to another episode of Two Drunk, Drunk Guys. What's Woo! up, everybody? We are out here in uh, Ruler Territory Brewery, out here hanging out, having a good time. I am the Drunk Master. Julia, hey, what's our topic today, man? What are we going to talk about? I mean, we got a lot of subjects that we're going to do, but... What's the number one topic that we're going to talk about today so people can understand what's going on with this whole COVID? Let me, and let just me, to think about something that we can thought, do. Quick thought, quick thought, quick thought. You know, we've been around with at breweries, so let's talk about let's talk about beer. Let's talk about the positive sides of beer. Not well, just there's that. a lot of positive sides about it. Yeah, I know. And matter of fact, let's drink to that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> You're almost empty, huh? I am almost empty. Mm. Okay, what I wanted Matter to fact, say. Matter of fact, I am empty. What I wanted to say was like, people don't know that beer actually is not only considered a food in some countries, a meal. It has so many health benefits that are unseen. And nowadays, with the COVID and everything, we always say, look at the science. Well, look at the science, and you have. Health starting from your head to toe. Some people say it's good for dandruff. Okay, rinse your rinse your hair with wait, hold beer. On, wait, hold on, dandruff. <laughs> and it'll it'll. I won't wear no more black shirts. It, it's thing, one of man, the best. Shoot. It's one of the best natural cures from for dandruff. Back since then. Have a beer a day. So do you pour beer on your two? hand for the dandruff? Yes. Rinse your hair with, with beer. Your hair will get nice and soft. It'll smell a little like beer. Might attract some flies, but you know, hey. I was wondering why those flies were around me all this time. <laughs> I did not know. You just told me something that I know now. I was like, why are these flies around me? That, I wipe after, the, after I go to the bathroom. I always wipe and there's no toilet paper around me. <laughs> I thought I smelled like boo-boo, you know what I mean? I'm like, so it's the beer. I did not know that. <laughs> That's kind of like two uh, TMI, okay? No, okay? Okay. Hey, we're talking to our fans over here. They want to know. This is a reality show, so I, I got to let them know what's going on. I guess they want to know that about yes, you. Yeah. Now they know. <laughs> Plus, mm. also, beer does help with kidneys, too. I mean, it, it helps with kidneys. If you drink one a day, it does help with kidneys. It's like 40%. It's, what, what kidneys? It's good against kidney stones. Kidney stones, yes, that's yeah. correct. Too much and it'll affect your liver, but that's years and years of drinking beer because it's really, it's so light. Yes. Um, you know, it's good for heart disease. You and know? a matter of fact, speaking of beer, we are drinking a beer right now from Ruler called Solist. Soloist. Soloist. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Say that again. Soloist. Soloist. And it's coming <laughs> from Ruler. We're going to try it right now today and let you know how it tastes. I tried. It's good. It's good. Trust me. Cheers, America. You don't have to drink it. Trust me. It's good. Well, you know how many babies were born on trust? <laughs> that is refreshing. And so, you know what? That helped me cure one of my kidneys. <laughs> the other one I was doing okay? Right now. Or you donated well, it? Well, I don't already? know the other one yet. It's on one side right now. I didn't work his way around to the other side. But we'll find out. And also, you know, if you guys are hungry, we got 
Look at this macaroni salad right here that they make right here. It's beautiful macaroni salad. Okay. I can't do mayonnaise, but I'm sure Frank the Jeweler would love to have some of this macaroni salad. I mean, I can try it, but you might not see me for about 15 minutes, and I might be in the bathroom doing something different. <laughs> With the boo boo and the flies. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a whole other subject in the matter. So as we're talking about that. With everything I said about the beer, you're not going to say, yes. like, no, that's not so? You know what? Everything that you said was true to form. True to form? Except for if you consume too but you want to drink responsible. And you will get a <clears throat> beer belly. You know, unfortunately, I don't know why I don't get a beer belly. I mean, I, I use pillows, so I could be Santa Claus or something like that. Ho, 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 it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. I don't have a belly for it, but you might do it. I don't, I don't hey, think the when beer... when is your baby going to be born? When is the bun, the bun in the oven, man? You know, you, talk to the people. You know, I, fans, man. nowadays when I'm in an elevator and I see a woman who I think looks pregnant, I heard it's rude to ask how far okay, along wait a she minute. is. Oh, wait, wait, time out. I always ask how much, how many beers do you drink per day? But how do you know she's pregnant? You say you think she's pregnant, no, no, but what's she, she not pregnant? No, no, she looks like it. She looks like she it. She looks like she it. She has an outer if, appearance, like, you know, it's, anyway. It, it could, okay, thank you. I'm just like, it could be like her clothes that she's wearing and, yeah, you know, she yeah. might have her son's basketball you know what, and her You know what sweater. I mean, you know what I mean. Okay. Okay, if somebody she looks, looks like pregnant, it. yeah. She looks pregnant. Hey, you look pregnant. Um, so... Uh, you you drink beer or uh, you? <laughs> you know what? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just asking a there, question. There's a whole lot of guys who have a gut that do not drink at all. That's just in their nature. There's a lot of people who are joggers who have beer bellies. We have one right here. We are about to bring on camera here in a few minutes. <laughs> he haven't he hasn't touched a lick of beer, but he got a belly man that's Dad, about to be bursting Dad any looks, minute now. That looks like he looks more like a whiskey drinker, you know that? That's more like a whiskey. Actually, that's he a, does look like a whiskey high. drinker. He yeah, does. That's I, not I a see typical it. beer belly. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. And then, you know what? We want to introduce one of the brewers here at Ruler. We got James one of the brewers, establishers, I guess you can say, here at the Ruler that's going to break down what they do over here because they have a good establishment with the whole motion, everything that's going on over here. I mean, we love it. I mean, what is the secret? You can tell them. We're not going to tell anybody else, but just let us know the secret of what you guys are doing over here, James. So our head brewer and our owner decided to start a brewery that was themed on cycling because he loves to ride his bike. And I came from a mountain bike background, so different but close to and uh, he's hit a really good tee here with everybody does all the cycling up and down the coast and he's done a fin fantastic job and it's the beer's great he was a home brewer for 10 years and then figured hey I'm done with what I currently do for a living and I want to start something new and this is what came of it that's pretty nice so how did the name come about I mean what that circulated the name do you know the history of the name a little bit so a ruler is a cyclist that does a lot of things and he's you know the one who wins the best jersey and wins the race so we we're rulers here we are all rulers around here even Frank the jeweler is a ruler you know literally he's six feet well that's a whole other subject uh, <laughs> Um, so on your beers, let, let them know about your beers that you got on tap. And if they want to come down, let them know your address and where you're at and everything and how they can come down and see you guys if you got a, you know, Facebook or Instagram or anything. So as far as social media goes, you can find us mostly on Facebook. We do have a Twitter, but nobody updates it. And we also have an Instagram, at Ruler Brewing, for everything. R-O-U-L-E-U-R. It's a weird spelling, but it's French. So, yeah, but our beers, we have a pretty generic, you know, overflow. We have... Uh, Belgians, we have IPAs, we have uh, phenomenal pale ales and lagers. We, there's something for everyone here and really our best beer is our Domestique Belgian Blonde and it just won best in show this year at San Diego National Beer Fest. Beat out 900 and something odd other beers to win best in show. It's pretty phenomenal for a microbrewery of our size to do that. That's the next beer we have to try, right? That is the next beer we have to try. Frank and Julie, you're right. And, you know, you guys... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right? And then, you know, we, you know, we have a, 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 also a guy on our show that's a vegetarian. 
and he tried the seltzer for the first time. We'd like to bring him in so we can get his opinion on what he thought about this whole ordeal, you know, because he's never tried beer before at all. And he's trying, well, you have tried it back in the past. I wasn't trying to put you on blast or anything, but I was just trying to let America know that, you know, you did try it. And we would just want to know what your thoughts are on this because you also have a show on what's so funny dot com as well too about what vegetarian vegans and stuff and we just want your honest opinion so they can know. Well, yeah, I have drunk beer before, but it's been a long time. Oh, my bad. We want to hear what you're saying. My bad. Oh. My bad. My bad. <laughs> well, I have drunk beer before. It's just been a long time since I had it. And it's the most beer I done drunk in a long time without my stomach bothering me and all that. So shout out to the ruler, man, for this great beer right here. And it's vegan. You ain't got to worry about none of that. Oh, that's a beer? Yeah, it's beer. So on your thoughts, what, 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 is, what is the taste like since you haven't drank it? What does it feel like? What does it taste like? I mean, what are your thoughts on it and everything? It got a pretty good taste. You know, it's better. It tastes, it don't really taste like a regular beer to me. It tastes a little different. I like the taste. And like I said, this is the most beer I've been drunk in a long time. So the taste must be on point. And it's a, uh, it's a hard seltzer. I don't know if that's the same as beer or what, but it's pretty good. It's close to it. You know, and I know you haven't drank beer in a long time. I know you're not used to the whole old English and, you know, Coat 45 and stuff, which you used to do back in the day. That's what makes your stomach hurt so much. You know, you have bubble guts, and, you know, slit small liquor, bull, don't let the smooth taste fool you and all that. King Cobra, King Cobra, all the and all that, you know. So this is a, this is a purity that purifies your body, you know, and it says, hey, you give me something clean, wait me, hold on, man. I, my, my body doing something. To, and a little alcohol to make it really clean better. Yes. And your body, your, your body. Cleanse from the inside. Cleanse from the inside. And your body is like, wait, hold up. You, you give me something good. I don't know if I like it. So I mean, that's where you get the bubble guts. You know, your whole bubble guts gurgling all up in there. And that's where the vegan stuff come in. Like, okay, wait, hold on. Fly. And then. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, see, I, I, I didn't want to go there. You, the fly stuff, man. See, there you go. But, James, um, we thank you guys for being here. And then uh, your name was? Liz. Liz. James and Liz are the best shots out here whatsoever. Come in. Come, come on in, Liz. Come on in, please. We want to get you in a shot and uh, show what you look like. This is our host right here that serves our beers in here. And then we want you to speak on just your thoughts of just ruler on you being here and how you came about to be here as well and where you came from. All right, cool. I'm Liz. I've been here uh, close to since the beginning. We're three and a half years old now. And uh, I'm a beer tender here, and I also work in the industry as a hops broker. So I have my own company called Hops Bauer. Cheers, you guys. Thanks, uh, thanks for coming out. And thank you very much. And Liz is doing the best job that she can do. She's tolerating us. She might want to beat me up because <laughs> I've been asking her so much. She's Put your mask on. Put your mask on. I thought I had it on. I don't know. Sometimes I think I have it on. I don't. You wear it so much, you think you have it on all day long. You got to be safe now. You got to be safe now, James, right? And uh, just your thoughts on this whole COVID thing that's going on and what it's going to affect you guys. What are your thoughts in America? Just let them know how you're feeling with this whole COVID thing going on, man. It sucks for small businesses. You know, the big companies can get out. They get their payouts. And little guys like us have to do every single thing we can. And we've had to adapt in a very different way. We've had to like, we made hand sanitizer for a while and we've pulled funds from where we could and you know, it's just, you keep working hard, you wear your mask, you sanitize everything and you pull through. Not a lot of people have had the opportunity to get through this pandemic, but I'm glad to be a part of a team that's been able to rotate and adapt as best we can and pull through. And we're glad to be a part of your team because uh, as uh, Frank the Jeweler and myself were talking, as of 12 o'clock midnight tonight, everything is supposed to be closing down. Now, are you guys in that effect? Are you guys going to be okay? You guys got takeout? I mean, so people know you guys got takeout. I mean, what's going on? Yeah, so we still offer pickup beer. So you can order online or you can come in and just pick up a four-pack or two or some crowlers. And we have some accounts out in stores, you know, grocery stores that carry us. And you can still find our beer out there. But the best way to support a small business like us is to really order from us and show up at the front door and pick it up and pay us directly. Now, 
Very nice. Very nice. Now, the small stores that you said carry your beer, let the people know what stores carry it. So that way, if they want to get it, they can actually go out and get it. Well, you can find us in Trader Joe's and a few other, mostly liquor stores. But Trader Joe's is probably the biggest one here in San Diego. That is so huge, man. You guys are in some big stores. No, no sprouts or anything like that. But Trader Joe's is pretty huge. Because they're like a whole like different story with Trader Joe's and all that stuff. It's, it's very huge. Trader Joe's is mean you got good background. Yeah, it means you got good background and you got good value. Mm -hmm. That's all I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, James, is there anything else you'd like to tell our viewers, man, about uh, Ruler Man? I mean, you personally, I mean, where you came from, I mean, history of, uh, like, you know, where you're originally from or anything. I mean, your first girlfriend, you, you, you broke your virginity, or, I mean, or something. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just... Tell you about beer, man. Okay, go, okay, go, all right, okay. Uh, that's off camera then, go ahead. <laughs> so I, I started in the brewing industry. I've actually got a really good story because of Ruler. I started at a microbrewery in Northern California just working in the kitchen. And then my wife and I got married and decided we wanted to come back to San Diego because we love the vibe here. You know, it's all happy and the coast and the weather's fantastic. And so I ended up at another larger brewery working just the canning line, not really where I wanted to be. And then they got bought by another company. They sold their brewing facility, so I lost my job there. And I found out that Ruler was hiring about uh, a year ago at this point. And I applied for it, and I pestered the hell out of this guy. I showed up every day and was like, hey, I haven't heard anything back about that job, and I'd you know, really love to do it. Persistence pays off. For the first time, it actually did for me, yeah. So I got the assistant brewer job in February of last year, and it's been phenomenal. For me to have only worked in the beer industry for three years, to already be an assistant brewer is pretty big. That is huge, man. And you're actually putting a label on this beer with your name yeah. because you're a part of this. Yeah. And that's huge. It's like you're puffing your chest out, right? When we won that award, it was like, oh, yeah, you know, I kind of have just done some of the maintenance on the beer and not really, you know. But everybody was like, no, you, you helped make that beer. You did everything that the brewer couldn't do. And the awards we've won in, this, in 2020 are as much on my shoulders as everybody else here. How much chisel work did you have to do with your wife to get her out here and say, hey, we want to come to San Diego? Because we want to know. I mean... Because I know married people, I know single people don't can't relate to this, but as being married, how much did you have to convince your wife to, like, I'm trying to do this, and can you support me and come out? Uh, it actually wasn't that hard because we moved here in 2016 because her family was moving down. And after they left, or after we left and moved back to Northern California, it was pretty easy to be like, hey, I want to be in Beer Mecca. You know, for what I want to do for a living, this is the best place I can be. And she was... She had a job available at Legoland already, so it worked out well for us. Okay, so now we know where to get the tickets from. <laughs> yeah, call me. <laughs> James, we thank you so much for uh, coming out, and we thank Ruler for having us here, you know, and being a part of your establishment, and just with this whole COVID that's going on, and then everything that's, you know, and our whole crew that's here. We got our whole crew in the background. We're going to bring some other people up here later in the day. But I'm going to give the mic to Frank the Jeweler so he can give some thoughts for himself. My thoughts are I really want to try that award-winning beer. Thanks to James. We will. Yes, we will. <laughs> <clears throat> we will try that. Yeah, um, just a thought that came to me. Um, I always defended beer uh, versus wine to all my friends before, and it was the topic was always like everybody's looking for that healthy food, that healthy drink. And I always said, you know, if you drink a beer, you pr probably have all the vitamins, all the minerals you can get in any kind of food in one item. Beer has that. It doesn't mean that you have to overdo it to get more of it. That's not going to help you. Um, <clears throat> there's um, some famous people that made some outspoken words about drinking and not drinking. One was Frank Sinatra. One thing he, uh, he said was, if you don't drink, I feel sorry for you. Because if you wake up in the morning and you don't drink, this is as good as you're going to feel all day. Yep. My phone is there. 
but I just wanted to say, um, beer has good things to it. Please don't overdo it, but enjoy it. You'll be better for it. And can we get a round of applause for James for coming out here and Ruler for having us over here. What do you guys think? Can we get a round of applause? Nice to have you. Nice to have you. James, nice. is good. Oh, cheers for sure. Hey, we're going to try that award-winning beer. Uh, you know, matter of fact, when you get off the camera, can you go pour some for us and then yeah, we're coming there? Yeah, I appreciate that. And I'll put you back on cheers for sure. We're going to get you back on a thank you. What's up, y'all? We, we are COVID safe and everything, so we got to take our mask off because we're still chilling right here. We are drinking one of the award winners from Ruler Brewery. And can we cheer? Let's do it. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> damn damn mask. I'm, I'm going to take a sip. Damn mask in America. Okay. Am I okay with being like three and a half feet away from you? I hope that's, that's okay. I hope that, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> hey, we had to take a sip. I'm just, just my, my, sure. My air is going this direction, not your direction. So, you should. So, we just had to make sure we took a sip. I mean, I, I don't know about their sips, but my sip was like off the hook, right, Jay? That's my kind of sip. What, my kind of sip? Yeah, I know. You, you're one minute, man. So, don't worry about it. We're good. Uh, so, anyway, hey, moving on. So, we're going to bring my boy James in the house. Come on, James. Come on. Hey. That's Gus? Okay, Gus. Okay. Uh, Gus, James, same thing. Uh, hey, hey, why don't you button your shirt? I said button your shirt before you came in, man. That's his middle name. Yeah, it is. It is Augustus, Augustus. So button your shirt up, man. Be professional. <laughs> I said button it up before you came in here. You didn't do it, but that's all right, man. I'm hard here. You're right. Just button three buttons, man, and then don't, don't breathe out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because I'm being compliant, I can't breathe right now. Okay. <laughs> you can take your mask off while we're here. You're good. Okay, we're good. Nice haircut. Okay, there you go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a, a prank call. Oh. From, it's my cousin's birthday today. 50th birthday. Oh, he's 50. He's 50. And then I know you want to do what you do because, you know, 50 years old. We're going to prank call him real quick. Oh. And then we're going to say that he got a stripper girl. Going on over there, an uh, entertainer. Is that what you said? A female entertainer. Yes. We got a female entertainer well, he at his front door. He got to show up for his party. Dude. He got to show up for his party. She goes, you know, we're going to try and do what we do. Is he home? I'm sorry. It's, it's a college student who trying to make her ends meet, you know? It's like an like uh, internship. <laughs> an internship? Yeah. Okay, we ready? We're going to call him? Oh, he needs the microphone. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Somehow. Here we go. What's up, cousin? Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Lance, happy birthday to you. What's going on? Oh, not much, not much. I'm about to get into this jacuzzi right now. Okay, well, check it out, man. Uh... We, uh, man, I didn't know, man, but uh, I sent a, uh, one of my Bud Boys and model, uh, one of my Budweiser models, man, is going to come over there, and she's going to try and do like a little strip tease thing. She's going to get in the koozie to bring her bikini? Yeah, she's going to get that bikini and everything, but uh, hey, I, 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 I couldn't be there, but I want to be there, but she's going to be knocking on your door in any minute, and she knows you. I'm prepared, no, no, you should have told her to go around to the fence, the fence side. Oh, the well, I didn't know that. I didn't know the fence side, okay. dude. That's where right, it's going to be Chanel safe for her? Let me, let me go tell Chanel to take a nap real quick. Okay. Take a little nap. You, yeah. better, you better tell her like now, dude, because she could be... She, hey, she's trying to find parking right now, man. She's trying to find oh, parking, man, she, and she's going to be knocking on your me, door you like in any second, dude. Earlier, man. What? You should have gave me a heads up earlier. I didn't know. You didn't call me. I didn't know. I mm. mean, it's your birthday, man. You didn't tell me anything, dude. Damn, man, you, you know, know somebody somebody else in your cul-de-sac has a birthday party right now, so there must be a whole lot of people it's there. It's a whole lot of people. Hey, can oh, you lock wow. can you lock like Tanil in the room or something and tell her to come out? 
Yeah, I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna give her a little sleep. One of her sleeping. Yeah, pills. because hey, <laughs> if you hear a knock on your door, your ring, man, that's her, cause she knows you from the bar club, man. And she said, "Oh, it's your cousin." Man. She said, "It's your cousin." She said, "Yeah, yeah. I want. I want to give her a preview." She said, "She want to give you a preview, dude." Oh my goodness, man! I'm a fiftieth birthday. And yeah, and, man. And, and you man. have you have to tell her how how she you did because this. she's actually trying to. She wants audition. to impress you. She, she wants to audition and she impress you, man. She's auditioning for this show. Oh, okay, okay. It's one of the, one of the uh, persons from the, the show, huh? Soon no, they, they, it ain't from the show, dude. It's one of my models from Budweiser, fool. They, 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 they retired. They all retired. They no, they didn't. It, the one girl that's coming to your house ain't retired. She says she wants... Right. Hey, cousin, look. Right. I got right. her manager right here, man, because he pissed off at me, man, because you ain't answering the door, man. This her manager. Hold on a second, man. <laughs> hey, Lance, happy birthday. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. Man, what are yeah. you doing? It's your birthday. I heard you just turned 50. Yeah, man. Man, this good. woman got cakes, man. She is trying to show you a good time. You got to oh, you got to answer that door. Man, that's what I'm about to do. I'm so about to mad, jump in this jacuzzi mad. right now. No, you get me no, you need to get out the jacuzzi and answer the door. And yeah, answer, money. <laughs> money. You you messing with everybody money right now. Okay, I'm going to go right now. I'm going to go to the front and see if at the door. Let me go see right now. No, right now, yeah. not Oh, right now, right now. She she park. she, she parking right now cuz parking is hard everybody in the house. Let me see here. Let she got purple and red on. What's that now? What's that now? And her name is Jasmine. Okay, all right. I don't see not a thing you out here. Go to the park. Damn you thing go out to the park. Here. Cousin, I love you. Happy birthday, man. I love you so much. Thanks, fam. Thanks, fam. We got to get out and enjoy it once it. No, we know. don't. We Everything You got to get out $150 and pay me back. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Lance. Didn't cost me a thing. <laughs> we love you. I'll call you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I guess oh, damn. That was a good one. I, 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 I guess. I guess it worked out. Even though we kind of. Alright, who next? Alright. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, Gus is a star now. So what we gonna do? Hey, hey! Thank everybody for tuning in to Two Drunk Guys. What's up? What's up? Right here, Ruler. And we're drinking the award winner beer, which is domestic. 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 <laughs> Instead of uh, the other one that was soloist. Yes. <laughs> this is their award winner. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for so much. Uh, it's called What's So Funny Comedy dot com. Make sure you tune in. And we got a whole bunch of affiliations that's going on. Thank you, James, for uh, hanging out with us. Definitely. Thank you, Gus, for hanging out with us, man. We appreciate you very much, so much. We got Shutterboard, and then we got uh, the vegetarian vegan in the house. Come over here, man, and give a shout out. Say bye to everybody, man. Come on in here, man. Come on here, little guy. Uh, uh, Come right here. <laughs> you ain't got to walk in front of everybody. There's a chair right here, man. You ain't got to walk. What the hell you and, and then you will walk all in front of me, man. What you gonna sit on me? What the hell you gonna do? Right there, hey, the chair bad. right there, I'm man. Bad. Bad. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. We're good. Here you go. Hold on, hold on. Stand by, stand by. Quiet on the set. Go ahead, man. All right. It was nice hanging out. Everybody, y'all make sure y'all check out the Comfortable Vegetarian podcast. I did have a beer. It's vegan. Right? Yep. No, that's yeah. Beer. That that's vegan beer. Yeah. I did have a beer. It was great. Y'all make sure y'all come check out the ruler. The ruler is the new ruler. <laughs> the ruler. Thank you for tuning in, to two drunk guys. I'm the drunk master. <clears throat> and his friend, Frank the Jeweler. Thank you. Good night. Shut up, boy. Having us just a good time. Having us just a good time.